high 12 people worldwide, Zeus is back again and now with another attacking brilliancy and uh, from now from maybe the, the best attacker ever and uh, from in my humble opinion the best player who ever lived uh, which is Gary Kasparov and let me know in the comment section what do you think who is the best who is the GOAT who is the greatest ever and uh, yeah uh, this game was played in 1977 uh, in Baku this was a training match between uh, Gary Kasparov and Elmar uh, Magaramov and uh, Kasparov uh, has only he had only 14 years in this game so without further ado let's start and show this beautiful game so we have uh, knight f3, knight f6, uh, d4, uh, e6, c4 and after d5 we have queen's gambit decline on the board uh, knight c3 and bishop e7 and now black is simply playing uh, natural moves and he's ready to castle in, in the next move uh, bishop g5 and h6 asking the bishop asking the bishop questions where will you go what will you do and bishop goes back on h4 so castles and e3 with the idea to 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 play this bishop on e2 or uh, e3 or d3 and also castle and get, get kings to safety in the next two moves and Kasparov played uh, b6 yeah his idea is to feel chat to this bishop and when when this tension releases in the center he will have strong uh, bishop on this light square diagonal and we have queen b3 uh, putting more pressure on, on this center uh, bishop b7 and now we have uh, trade on one pair of minor pieces on, on f6 uh, and uh, yeah, white releases this, uh, the tension in the center, cd, ed, and uh, now white played rook d1, bringing the rook in the center. And now Kasparov played a very aggressive move, c5. He wants to open up the center because that king is still in the center, and when king is in the center you want to open up position, so you, uh, you will have open files for the rook or for the bishops and for the queen, so you can attack that king and white white takes uh, dc and Kaspar kasparov didn't take immediately because if you take that uh, cb uh, this bishop is unprotected and he will fall so that that wasn't option uh, knight d7 and he wants to, to to take him in the next move and because white will lose this pawn anyway he pushes push pushes on c6 so he wants to force this bishop to take, so he will be on the very uh, dubious square and he will be vulnerable and you can attack him. So that's, that, uh, that's why white played knight d4 attacking that bishop and Gary Kasparov uh, get rid of that knight with bishop takes, rook takes. And now, now we have about 15, 15 moves until the, uh, the end of this game. Now every Kasparov moves is threat threat which means building initiative and that's how you attack in chess so uh, watch carefully so knight c5 attacking the queen uh, queen goes back and now knight e6 attacking the rook rook also goes back on d2 and now Kaspar even pushes d d4 attacking the knight and white doesn't have a choice he takes ed and another threat and as i said watch careful every move is a threat rook e8 threatening discover check on this square on this square or on, on this square or this it depends and white played f3 and now now i will ask you to pause the video and try to find this move uh, uh, i'm warning you this is very hard move, move to find but yeah you will have a lot of fun and uh, i didn't find myself so pause the video 5 10 seconds maybe even half minute minute whatever it takes just to try to find the move because move it's brilliant move and it's disgusting to, to find so uh, what Kasparov played in this position he played bishop takes f3 bishop takes f3 okay you can take with the queen and you can take with the pawn white took with the pawn and what's the point of that move that point is to now this diagonal is open and now queen h4 check if that pawn was there you can uh, you can play there and block and queen would have to go back so white played the only move that he that he has like uh, blocking with rook and now uh, knight takes d4 discovered discovered check from the rook 
uh, white blocks with bishop and now another check uh, knight takes f3 and you can take with this because it's pinned from the from the rook and you can take this with uh, with rook because it's pinned from the queen and uh, white plays the only move again uh, king to f1 uh, queen h3 check another so as you see every move is check or threat and uh, again the only move is to block with <laughs> with the rook and knight goes on h4 putting pressure on this pinned rook and white uh, has only one option and that's to, to protect that with rook g rook g1 and now when you attack when you're attacking try to bring all of your pieces rook d8 so all of your pieces can participate in the attack so that's the general rules and uh, queen queen a1 uh, so now queen is yeah, uh, you're putting queen into another pin from this rook so this this is disgusting position and now again another another move another uh, threatening move bishop threatening to go on on uh, e3 and double on on that file and uh, white plays uh, queen queen f2 and we have knight to <laughs> knight to f3 i mean if you if you take uh, with the with the bishop you will take with the rook and your queen is lost and this is gg if uh, if you le let me see uh -huh. you can you, you can take the rook yes it looks like you can take the rook but queen knight is to smothered mate in the so that's not the option that's why white tried like uh, okay he he was shuffling the uh, rook g1 rook h1 because he's almost in zugzwang and white yeah and black achieved what he wanted he doubled on on e file and yeah white is doesn't have a move he's trying to shuffle a rook h1 rook g1 rook h1 and uh, now uh, Kasparov played savage move like king h8 so when if this king somehow breaks the pin so he do doesn't want to to meet this check so that's why he goes in the corner with the with the king and again he's shuffling yeah he doesn't have a useful move he can move any piece and uh, Kasparov played b5 and believe it or not it was in this position that white resigned why he resigned because he is in complete zugzwang what a beautiful word because let's show a couple of moves if he takes yeah this uh this pawn is threatening to go on b4 b4 and dislodge this knight and then take this uh this bishop if uh knight immediately takes this you you will take 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 i mean this is more than winning is also this this rook is hanging and you will pick up even this rook and this is game over so what are uh, another uh, other options like for after uh, b5 you can you think like okay i can take with the uh, bishop and attack this rook yes you can but this check you have to give up your queen check and after king moves you will, you will take this rook and yeah you're down so much material you will lose even more material with combination of these three pieces from, from black and uh, that's why uh, black has enough and he resigned on, on uh, 30th, 30th move uh, b5 so uh, guys uh, all people worldwide as i like to say uh, I hope that you like th this this video and that you learn some 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 new things how to attack a chess how to keep initiative and uh, if you like the video slap that subscribe button uh, I will see you in the next video with new uh, diversified uh, content until then bye.